Stephen here. Happy Sunday evening. Um, uh, th I'm not smoking tonight. That uh, what I thought last weekend was the start of a cold was not a cold at all. Something in entirely different to a cold. And I've actually been pretty ill all week. Um, thought I was recovering on Friday and then woke up yesterday and today and I just seem to have relapsed back to where I was. So uh, not feeling good at all. Um, if I had been smoking, I'd have been smoking this, which is a, a new acquisition. It's I bought this off a fellow UK piper who was um, selling off some of his, um, his pipes. Um, Phil Bennett. He's got a couple of videos up of his own, so I'll put a link down below to his channel so you can go and check him out. And he likes the pipes and he likes the snuff as well. Um, this is a, it's a lovely little pipe, nice to hold, very tactile, fits nicely in the hand. Um, nice rustication on it. It's a Viking pipe and it's made by um, Design Berlin in Germany, in their factory in Germany. So, lovely little pipe. That's what I would have been smoking tonight if I'd got a pipe on the go. And Phil, when he was sending me the pipe, said I'd put in a couple of bonus bits for you. Well, a couple of bonus bits was, a, to me, an understatement anyway. Because he sent me a packet of Revor, which as you all know is one of my favourite tobaccos. One of my top five, Revor plug. And also a tin of Sam Gowith's cabbage mixture, which I've never had, but which has been on my to try list for many, many months. So very, very nice, very, very generous of you, Phil, to do that. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to smoking that pipe in better times. Um, but I wanted to come on and do a video uh, because I've got another yabbo to do, another box opening. Um, and because I've had this a couple of days, I didn't want to leave it any longer or leave it till next week. And I did want to do it on video to sort of show my appreciation. Here's my box. And this is from uh, a very, very nice guy called Mike, who goes under the channel name of Harley Piper. I hope I've got, I'm sure it's Harley Piper. Yeah, I hope I've got that right. But anyway, obviously I'm going to put a link to his channel down below because he hadn't up until Friday put up any videos and then on Friday just gone he put up his very first one which is great a new member of the YTPC putting up videos so I'll put a link to Mike's channel down below as well and please do go and check him out and check out his first video and show him a bit of appreciation and support that would be great if you could Well, that was successful. <laughs> oh, this could all go horribly wrong. <laughs> you just talk amongst yourselves for a while, huh? or something. <laughs> I'm in. A waft of tobacco smell that came out as I opened that box was very very nice indeed. Throw it open. It, well, it is Harley Piper. Thank God I got that right. That's really very, very kind of you, Mike. I'll read it again off camera, but very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. There's a lot of tobacco here. Goodness me. And the very first one on top is one that I've wanted to try ever since I saw um, the Dagners. Last autumn, I started watching the Dagners videos and 
Is Jay the father? I'm not sure. I think he might be. But his big favourite. Cult Blood Red Moon. I've wanted to try that ever since. And it's just fantastic. It's the top one. That smells very nice indeed. Very, very nice. Wow. Very generous portions you've put in here, Mike. Look at that. Oh, I'll take it out and chew it. Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky, which I've never had. I haven't had any of the Orlick tobaccos. And of course their reputation is fantastic. Ooh. That smells a little bit similar to Revor, that very sort of deep, dark um, tobacco smell, but sort of stewed fruits there as well. I've got a feeling I'm really going to like that one. Orlick, Orlick Club Mixture. I hope you don't mind me sort of opening and sniffing all of these on camera. It's probably not very interesting for you. Oh, but I do love the smell of tobacco. And they all smell so different. It's amazing. I don't know anything about Club Mixture at all. I shall look all these up, obviously. Do my research. I like this one I have had before, but only a very, very small sample. Bob's Chocolate Flake, and I liked it very much indeed. Because I do like a bit of chocolate on my tobacco. It's my favourite, Gareth's Black and Brown. I get chocolate from that. Very subtle, you know, not overpowering or gloopy, very subtle. The legendary, and I've never had this and always wanted to try it, Orlick Golden Sliced. That's great, absolutely fantastic. And once again, a very, very generous portion. Mmm. I can get off on just sniffing it, even if I can't smoke the pipe. Frog Morton on the bio. I've obviously heard so much about the Frog Morton tobaccos, but I've never had any of them. The only American tobacco I've had is that Cornell and Deal Gentleman's Caller that I um, traded off a, uh, a fellow YTPC member a few months back. Oh, yeah. You can smell the perique in that. Spicy. My, there's so much tobacco here, mate. This is incredible. This has um, increased the size of my cellar by about a thousand percent, I think. <laughs> Orlick Mellow Mixture. I'm going to stop sniffing them because it's not very interesting for you lot watching. Orlick Mellow Mixture. Huge sample of that. couple of boxes of matches. I can't read what's on the back. I haven't got my reading glasses on. Or what's on the front, come to that matter. <laughs> wow, Mike, 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 Mike. Serious quantity of Boswell's tobacco. That bit threw me a bit. Boswell's Piper's Pleasure. Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. No Bite Delight. I'm going to have to speed up. I'm going to have to do this video in two parts. Bear Blend. Christmas cookie.
Boswell's Best. Railroad Station. Titus. I can evocatively name that. Titus the Duck's Arse, that's what they say about me. <laughs> now then, that's enough of that. Oh, sorry, it's a high temperature. Blame the fever. Magnum Blend. Perhaps it was smoked by Magnum P.I. or whatever his name was. Ah, now this one I've heard of. Northwoods, because I have no um, Bosco Piper UK Simon. Big favourite of his. So I will have a sniff of this one. Mm, very, very nice indeed. I'm assuming that's in English. I can smell the Latakia in there. And finally, countryside. My, I'm absolutely blown away with this. Really am. I've never seen so much tobacco in one place in my entire pipe smoking life. Seriously. I'm going to have to... Um, I am, as someone said this about my opening my waves of Java box the other way, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I can't believe it. The generosity of people, um, you know, uh, I just knocks me out. Absolutely knocks me out. I can't even hold all of it in one hand. I'm going to have to invest in some jars to keep this. And I'm, this is going to keep me in uh, tobaccos to smoke on video from now until Christmas, I think. <laughs> Trying a different one every time. And I'm going to keep tasting notes on them as well, because you know, my short-term memory is shot. I smoke something one day, the next day I've forgotten I've smoked it. So, but I can remember adverts from my childhood when I was a kid, you know, when I was about nine years old. I could sing you songs from adverts that were on the TV. But I can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. <laughs> Mike, I'm absolutely knocked out with this. Mike Harley Piper, please do go and give him a, a check out and a sub. A great guy and an extremely generous guy and I'm absolutely thrilled with all of this. Really am, mate. I'm chuffed to bits. Um, I won't know where to start. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I just won't know where to start. Alright, I'm going to call it a night now. Um, thanks once again to Phil for sending me the Revor and cabbies with my pipe. That was very generous of you too, mate. And please check Phil out. And Mike, I hope it's coming across just how knocked out I am with this because I truly am. I don't, I don't put it on, you know, it's, I'm absolutely lost for words. So, I'm going to go away. I'm going to go through these and sniff them and look them up on tobaccoreviews.com and, um, and then feel sorry for myself for the rest of the evening. <sighs> Trouble when you're living on your own. You've got no one to mop your fevered brow. Oh, it's sad, isn't it? And it's also the fact that when you've got a dog and you live on your own and you're ill, you've still got to get out and walk it twice a day. Um, and there's been some walks over the past week where my legs have been like cotton wool and I've been staggering around, sweat streaming down me and thinking I should be at home in bed. But you could have do it, haven't you? Anyway, small problems compared to, you know, what, you know, real world problems that other people have. There you are. It's not beer, but all beer starts off as this. So, there you go. And it all ends up the same way as well. Happy Sunday evening all. And Mike, I'm made up late. Really, really made up. Thanks very much. Hope to speak to you all again soon. Hope you have a great week wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And you're all safe, well, warm and contented, you and your loved ones. And I'll speak to you again as soon as possible. Ta-da all.